Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends AIM Scientist and Trooper 2-Pack, which is the same thing for AIM as was the old 2-Pack that was for Hydra, which was actually a really solid release. This one, uh, it's not quite as good, I think, but it's still pretty solid, and I think most people are going to be pretty excited to be able to more easily army build these guys. Um, it's still mostly just a whole bunch of repainted stuff, and some of it works, and some of it doesn't. So, let's go ahead and get these guys off the stand, so we can take a closer look. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do height measurements for both of these guys, and then we're just gonna run the articulation really quickly. We've seen these bodies before, so it's not a whole lot of important stuff to talk about, really. He stands just about six and a half inches tall if the head was straight, which makes him just about... Eh, about 16 and a half centimeters. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit taller if you lean him forward and then the back part picks up. So this guy's about 16 and a half centimeters, which makes him about six and a half inches. They're your standard Marvel Legends figures. We've seen these body parts before. They're still using those terrible electro legs on this guy. And this is basically that purple doofus guy that I reviewed not that long ago. I can't think of his name because it's a terrible character design. But uh, just in yellow and black. And we even got his head over there, so that's kind of a bummer. And this is Star-Lord. I so hate these boots on this figure. On an AIM scientist, we have cowboy boots. What the heck? Did they ever draw them with pointy feet? Because if they didn't, this is atrocious. Like, that is the worst oversight I've ever seen. I hate it. But otherwise, it works pretty well, I guess. So as far as the paint job on this guy, actually, on both of these guys, there's almost none. There's a little bit of silver here and there. And then where the black is painted, it's pretty fuzzy, surprisingly, because it, it's black. It should paint over yellow, no problem. It's not terrible, though, but it's not particularly good. There's no shading of any kind, and so it's a little little dull looking. It's not the best aesthetic ever. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about... Let's do the articulation first on these guys, and then we'll do the accessories. So, the neck is a ball peg with a hinge. So, uh, with this head, it moves around. Not the most, obviously, because it's got the giant bag head, but normal type of head will move around on it just fine. Shoulders on this guy are no problem because we have these giant sockets. Oh wait, they still don't work very well. They don't go all the way out to the side. Bicep swivel is okay. Double jointed elbow is okay. Wrist swivel and hinge, no problem at all. This guy has two trigger finger hands, by the way. Ab crunch leans back a little bit. Leans forward quite a lot. That's pretty good. Waist twist is fine. Belt piece is floaty. Hips go eh, pretty far forward, not too bad. Going back just a little tiny bit. Out to the side, eh, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Thigh swivel is okay. Double jointed knee is fine. Uh, no shin swivel. Ankles go all the way back, pretty far forward, and you get a nice ankle rocker. Lower legs are really long on this guy. Very weird looking. On this guy, same type of neck joint. Pretty much all Marvel Legends have that at this point. So pretty good range all the way around. No real problems. A little stiff, but it works. That's what she said. Shoulders go pretty much all the way up. No problems there. Full rotation. Bicep swivel is fine. Double jointed elbow works no problem. Wrist swivel and hinge. Double trigger finger hands on this guy as well. Ab crunch goes back a little bit. Goes forward pretty far. That's good. Waist twist is fine. Hips go pretty much all the way forward out to the side. Better than most, so that's good. Thigh swivel's okay. Double jointed knee is okay. Shin swivel's okay, and then for the ankle, it goes all the way back, not too far forward at all, and you get your ankle rocker. Uh, I just don't like these little nubbins on the electro suit. It just doesn't make sense. I don't like them, but I guess most people probably won't care, so that's fine. This guy does have a floaty holster right here, which could technically be removed and used for either figure. Good luck trying to get it on. And this guy does also have a little knife sheath down here, which is permanently connected to him. This guy has a grenade belt around his chest like a bandolier that can come off if you want to, so it could be used for either figure. Now, let's talk about the accessories. For heads, we have two total of the big bag heads for the scientists. Then we have the purple doofus guy with now a black and yellow color scheme and some gr blue, green, I almost said green. Wow, some blue sunglasses. And then we do have the kind of skull face soldier looking head as well. We have... Two different harnesses, one in gray, one in brown. Neither of them serve any real purpose, so I'm not, not really sure why we have these. They don't really look like they make sense on either of these guys. We do have one pistol, one knife, one goofy-looking, like, weirdo pistol, 
one really tiny shotgun, which, yes, technically is a real thing, but still looks goofy. And it has AIM written on it. Obviously, it's a gun. Why wouldn't you? And then we also have the really goofy-looking rifle, also with directions on it. And then we have an even goofier-looking rifle with more directions on it. So, lots of guns there. Um, not my favorite selection, but I guess it kind of makes sense for the AIM guys. So, it's whatever. That's a personal thing. If you like them, cool. If you don't, that's okay, too. But they are painted fairly well. And then, lastly, we have this backpack, which does work on either guy. It actually looks pretty good, so... It's fine. Decent paint job on it. So all around this set, it's fine. It's I think a lot of people are going to like to army build, but I don't know. The soldier part, or trooper, or whatever you call it, it, doesn't work for me as much as the scientist. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is what... It, not as far as I'm concerned, but for me personally, this is more what I think of when I think of AIM. I don't think of generic goons as much. Like, just the, the tactical thing just doesn't come to mind as much. So, I personally prefer this guy, but uh, if you wanted to, you could do this, which doesn't look very good, but you can. You do have the extra head. Wow, it just does not want to go in there. Story of my life. All right, so, I mean, you can do that if you want to, but it looks kind of weird, so I don't know. I wish we just got a bunch of these guys personally. Let me know what you guys think. It's a decent set. I don't think it's anywhere near as successful as the Hydra set, but it's okay. Objectively, it's fine. I can't cr fault it too much. Subjectively, I just don't care for about half of it. So, you know, you know I, I guess I technically recommend it, but make your own decisions because it's a very subjective type of situation. So, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do have new videos up just about every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games. All kinds of fun stuff, so make sure you come back for that, and in the meantime, keep collecting.